but first tonight to the massive earthquake that struck the north of Japan. It's brought a huge tsunami, reportedly up to 10 metres high. The quake is centred near Sendai, about 400 kilometres north of Tokyo. A short time ago, Chris Yulman spoke to ABC reporter Yumiko Asada in Japan. Yumiko Asada, when did the earthquake hit? Um, the earthquake has, that I felt in Tokyo was about 2.46 p.m. Um, Japan time. And how long did it last? It, the, there was a big earthquake and it went on for a couple of minutes, a very, very long um, and a big earthquake. And how big was it, do you know? At the moment, um, Japanese media are reporting that it was magnitude 8.4 in northern Japan. And the U.S. Ge Geological Survey is saying 8.8, .8, and if it falls anywhere between 8.4 and 8.8, .8, that would make it one of the largest earthquakes Japan's ever suffered. Yes, I've experienced one of the biggest earthquakes before in Kobe, but this was, um, I think it was actually bigger, and it was much, much longer than the Kobe earthquake. So where was the epicentre of the earthquake? This was off um, northern Japan's Pacific coast. Um, it's the pre prefecture is called Miyagi Prefecture. Now, we've seen some, some horrifying images of tsunamis. Did people get much warning? No. I felt the earthquake, and after um, only a couple of minutes, um, there were tsunami warnings in northern Japan saying that there would be a six-meter tsunami coming in a couple of minutes and warning the local people to go to higher grounds. Now, the images that we, we can see include cars, trucks, and even large buildings being swept away. It's very early days, but is there any idea yet at how many people might be killed or injured by this? There's no reports yet, and I've seen these shocking pictures, this whole, this big tsunami mix of soil and rubble just, just washing and swallowing the whole town, and it's just very hard to imagine how much damage and how much death and injuries there could be, but they've re um, reported one death actually um, in northern Tokyo that a roof collapsed and a lady has died. How big were the tsunamis? Because they came, obviously, one after the other. There, there wasn't just one tsunami. No, there are still tsunami warnings, and they're still coming. But then I've seen reports that there was a 7-metre, 30-centimetre tsunami, which I think is the biggest at the moment. Have there been many aftershocks? What have you felt since? Yes, there's been many, many aftershocks. Um, about 30 or 40 minutes after the earthquake, I think um, it continued to shake. Um, it, even after an hour, there were still some small um, aftershakes here in Tokyo. Can you describe what you could see from the building that you're in? As from here, I don't see any... Um, obvious damage of any buildings collapse in Tokyo, but I've seen in our office um, that our videotapes have collapsed from our shelves. Um, I've seen people in the Japanese news organization scrambling and the, their news office has been shaking. Um, and I've seen pictures in Tokyo, people evacuating outside, um, thousands of people standing outside their company. And you also saw people being given heart massage in the street, is that correct? Yes, there's um, one building in central Tokyo where um, I've heard that the ceiling has collapsed and there was a graduation going on and there were 600 people inside the building and there were rescue opera, um, people doing a heart massage outside the building. Is the power still on where you are? Because we have reports that power has been cut to 4 million homes in and around Tokyo. The power is on, but um, I'm having very a lot of difficulties with my mobile phone contacting my friends and families. And um, also I've been getting some messages that they can't reach me in the office. So fortunately this line is um, good, but um, I'm not exactly sure that there might be some kind of troubles with our electricity. I understand that all public transport has ground to a halt and that the airport's been closed. Yes, that's what um, I've, I've seen. Um, one, the, the worst airport that was hit by the tsunami is Sendai Airport. Um, the airport was flooded, and I've seen people out evacuating on the roof of the airport with, um, with hard hats on. And the tsunami warnings, of course, now are going out around the world, not just to Japan. 
Yes, um, I've heard there are some tsunami warnings in Philippines and other areas. Now it's surrounding um, most of the whole the Japanese uh, Japan Island. Well, Yumiko Asada, our thoughts and prayers are with you and the people of Japan. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much.